Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, the destiny on the Mazar X8. I'm gonna go ahead and that's gonna be the uh, 550 bucks um, Mazar X8 project slash recycle. So I'm gonna recycle that engine. I'm gonna prove everybody you can reuse your Apex seals on anything else you have in there. To start, I opened. Oh, I went through one of my goodie boxes. This is one of many. I have a lot more at home. Somewhere around, laying around here. I have um like like half of the Apex seals that I have. I'm gonna make sure uh, they're between specs, as everybody knows. Mazda spec is 5.3 millimeters. The lowest spec you can go, so it can be reusable, is 4.3 millimeters. So I have this here, I have down laying around there. I have a lot of good side seat, uh, side seal springs. They're not flattening. I tried on on the rotors. I have side seals. As everybody knows out there, or maybe people don't know this, but the Mazda RX-8. On one of the stamp letters, you have to go by size. So whenever you guys wanna order the side seals, it go by side. And then when you install it, it has some type of like a triangle face or shape. You guys can't see it in here. But one side is a little bit wider than the other. Like, like if you see how it's black in there, watch if I flip one around. I'm gonna flip this one around. Can you guys tell the difference? see how that one looks chrome because that one goes that one is the one it touches the iron or so it's, it goes outside the uh, the rotor on the black side because it is dirty they're old the carbon build goes down it's like a little um how can I explain it? like a triangle type of thing so it's only one way to install these ones and these are cut by size they're already cut by Mazda so you don't have to file it down you don't have to resize it on, on the Mazda RX-8 you had to look up the stamp on your rotor and that's how you order those so anyway I have that I have uh, RX-7 uh, Apex seals three pieces which we have these ones right there we go here another one here I have a couple of these ones used if anyone needs any even the RX-8 Apex seals I can send you a set once of course once i'll go through all of them and make sure um the ones that are in spec i'm gonna keep them the ones that are not they're gonna go to the trash so i have um rx7 apex sales eus rx8 eus i'm gonna make sure they're within specs i have apex seal springs the lower the inner i have a corner seals i have oil control rings oil control ring spring Oh, this one I forgot to ask Ashton. I had to give him a text or message me, message him on uh, Instagram because he needed this one. I just been forgetting. Uh, what else I have of that? I have everything to rebuild this engine according to Mazda specification. So I'm gonna go through everything, make sure everything is done. The rotors are done. The irons. I'm already waiting. Oh, I'm gonna go get the um, template so I can do a bridge port on it. So that Mazda RX-8 engine is going to be Bridgeport. Uh, the plate is going to be from KMR. Uh, I'm going to go check out Mazda Tricks. So I'm going to go get the template for the Bridgeport on the irons. The irons and housings are going to get powder coated. Again, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what color should I go with. Uh, so far, yeah, the rotors are clean. Irons are clean. Waiting for the template. I have to go get it. Uh, the housings uh, might have a little problem with the housings, but uh, I do have a, a good pair. So yeah, stay tuned because the Mazda RX-8 is going through is going on a on a recycle project now. It's gonna be half and half, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use good compatible good uh, sizing Apex seals. They use ones. Same with the. Uh, Size sales. Let me see right there. I'm gonna make another video. Maybe I'll, I'll make that one at home so it can be more quiet. So I can show you all the numbers, all the stamps on the rotors. So stay tuned for that video. 
if anyone out there needs a pair or a couple of Apex seals, they're used, but they will be on uh, between specs. Let me know. Let me go grab one of the rotors. Okay, here we have one of the rotors. It's all clean. I already showed you guys how to replace, how to clean up the carbon build. I'm just waiting for the the main bearing. It's coming from Mazda, and I will show you all the stamps. Of course, if you go on the IQ reader or this square letter in here, and then this C right here. There we go. The C in here. After his reader. This one here, you see this here right here, that's your weight. And then the size of your um, side sails is gonna be this one in here. See, so has a letter Q. Let me see if I can find a picture of the, of the sizing chart. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload it right there in the video. But yeah, if you wanna confirm this is your, your weight, you see the C. We're gonna flip your rotor around. We're gonna look for, there it is. Can you guys read that? R, C. R means rear. C, that's your weight. That's how it is. I'll show you guys on any other videos. On my previous videos. The way you can mix that is by your rotors. You can go one size up, one size down. So since this one is a C, you can go with the B. Mix a B with the C or a C with the D. Only go one between, don't make A with the C, no. Or don't make A with the D, no. So only one letter between. So this one is compatible with the B and with the D. So that'll be, uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. We're getting close. So I'll still have to bridge port those items for the RX-8. I uh, had to make sure all the measurements on this one are good and then we're gonna start ready getting ready to send us all their parts to pirate coating leave a comment below let me know what color should I go with thank you for watching